Hello, I'm Governor Jared Polis. And I'm Colorado's first gentleman, Marlon Reese. We are both so excited to be announcing Colorado Recycles Week. Colorado will celebrate Colorado Recycles Week every third week of November. It's important we take this time to recognize and expand the role recycling has in our state. It contributes greatly to our economy and perhaps even more important, it's a very potent tool in our efforts to combat climate change. That's right, Marlon. Recycling, reuse, and manufacturing contribute more than $8 billion to the Colorado economy every year. The economic opportunities we can realize if we recycle more are virtually limitless. And yet Colorado hasn't been a major player yet. We wanna change that. Among states, we still have one of the lowest recycling rates in the country. We only recycle 16% of our waste compared to a national average of 35%. We can and we must do better. And when it comes to fighting climate change, the urgency couldn't be greater. Just this summer, we suffered the three largest fires in the history of Colorado. We need to take action now. Complex problems rarely have simple solutions, but reducing, reusing, and recycling, and composting, and other zero-waste measures are some of the easiest and most cost-effective actions we can take today in our homes, in our workplace. We can have an immediate impact in reducing the greenhouse gas emissions that we know are contributing to climate change. We all have to do our part at home, at work, even at the state capitol. Over the course of my administration, I've worked with the General Assembly to create more opportunities for recycling and composting, to attract businesses to our state that buy our recycled materials and make them into new products and create jobs. But there's definitely more work to be done. We're exploring ways to use compost on agricultural lands to enrich our soils and increase their capacity to pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, a key strategy that truly helps in our efforts to address the climate crisis. Two of Colorado State Departments, the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment and the Colorado Department of Agriculture are working together on these promising climate solutions to see how we can make it more widely available to farmers across our great state. While change at the state level has allowed us to begin paving the way toward a healthier, greener Colorado, the governor and I have also made some changes in our own home. In early 2019, we decided to really look into ways that we could reduce the amount of trash we were throwing away. As a family of five, we were taking out a full bag of trash every day. The more we learned about what we could be doing to recycle and compost, the more we were able to sort out things that could be reused or recovered. We completely eliminated food waste thanks to curbside composting. And with plastic, glass, different metals, and paper sorted out of our trash cans, we got to where we are today, which is about one regular size bag of trash every four days. Thanks to EcoCycle, I'm able to share recycling and eco-living tips on my Facebook page every Monday and Friday. These are simple things you can do to make a meaningful difference. I really believe that Colorado can be a leader in zero waste, in fighting climate change, and setting an example for the whole nation. Check out Marlon's Facebook page for really great tips on how you can reduce waste, Learn more about the great work of recycling partners like EcoCycle and Recycle Colorado and the steps we need to do to make our state a leader in zero waste. Happy Colorado Recycles Week!